Oh, good luck. Uh, uh, let me see. So, yeah, lately, uh, let's play this this way. Ah, interesting. I wonder what I've committed myself to already. Well, we're going to play Central Foul Rook. Um, I'm not feeling the other Rook moves right now. Normally, Third Foul or Opposing Rook tend to be very strong against Central Foul Rook, but here they played Fourth Foul Rook, so we're in a bit of a no-man's land here. Um, So let's make way for my bishop. Um, hmm. Well, the next logical thing is usually to bring this silver from the left into the center. Um, how crazy am I feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling pretty crazy. Crazy thing would be taking the silver from the right into the center and tucking the king to the left and pretending that we castled opposite sides here. The rook is in the center, after all. Um, that could be interesting. Hmm. And again, with that bishop right there, not sure that I'm feeling it. Um, yeah, let's just get this moving. And I apologize if I startled my opponent a bit. Um, so he temporarily been distracted, and that's uh, totally fine. Um, uh, I've done the same before some of my games, too. Um, but yeah, this is a good time for both of us to play. So what I've got to be concerned about is quite a bit of activity against where my king is going to be hiding. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm confused. I've got to protect the head of my knight. Building Mino in the face of this seems not super smart. We're going to try a different castle. Um, I think this will hold up. I'd like to have a pawn in hand, but I'm not sure I can manage that right now. Because, uh, yeah, if he forces my pieces to climb up the board, I'm in a little bit of trouble. So I've got to... I don't even know if I have to block this right now. Um, it is troublesome that my silver is attacked in the center of the board. If I am going to eventually... well... Yeah, he's going to pull his... he's going to withdraw the rook. And then I'll have to put the pawn down. So I could take care of putting the pawn down right now and then have the tempo later. Um, hmm.
Okay, so yeah, he's building the castle that I've been trying, kind of, sort of, to build over here. Um... I think this is where I want my bishop. And I think I'll be launching an attack over here soon. I'm just not sure. Like, okay, yes, I blocked my knight out. That wasn't very smart, but I think this is the general direction in which I want my attack to occur. Um... So yeah, he's trying to solidify his castle while he still has time to do so. Let's put this question to the rook, ask where it's going. Because I don't want this attacking my silver all day. Right, so he does withdraw the rook, and now I have to figure out how I'm going to approach this castle. Uh, so... It's not easy. If I move the knight, that blocks my rook. I could just move the rook over and have at it. I mean, moving the knight doesn't really gain me anything, but doesn't lose me very much either, because this file is already blocked. What it does lose me is, I guess, they could push this pawn, it could become harder for me to push on this file. Um, so maybe I do want to push the pawn right in front of my bishop, even though it seems kind of dumb to do that. Maybe I want to push the edge pawn, just to give the knight somewhere to go. Oh, the third, I'm sorry, the third file is the weakness against this uh, Twin Gold castle. So if I could find a way to bring my pieces that direction, that'd be great. Um... I mean, is my bishop ever going to take on the square? Not that I see. Let's block the bishop. At least for now. So I'm now thinking I want to put my king between my two golds. That's a weird... I mean, can I really criticize? But I don't understand this pawn move. The idea is he wants to exchange pawns like I'm trying to exchange pawns, but... Um...
So I guess, yeah, I'm asking if he's going to put a pawn or something else there. And if he puts a pawn there, now my rook can drop back into this Ishida formation. Um, so, yeah, later I can either push um, on the second file or maybe do something fun with my knight and other pieces on this file, but he can't push this pawn anymore. Um, so. He's always got a pawn in hand, which is concerning. Um, let's try to solidify this castle. I mean, this creates weaknesses on the other side of the board, but there's no way for any of his pieces to get there right now. And we're going to need everything we can to make sure that my king doesn't explode in the center of the board. So, there's that. I uh, probably should have thought about this. Hmm. I mean, he's blocked his bishop twice now, but this pawn push is coming, or is imminent. But my, I have an attack too. Um, wait, if I just exchange silvers, okay, yeah, he could put a silver in my corner. No, he can't. I've actually got it covered. He could drop one in front of my rook and bishop. So even though I can silver his bishop, he can return the favor uh, manifold here. So, I need to proceed with caution. Um, if I exchange silvers and put it right back here, where is his silver going? Here, I suppose. No, not really. Um, yeah, this is weird. So he has an immediate threat, and I think I've sniffed out the immediate threat. But I'm not seeing where this goes next. And what I do have next is a pawn drop here, and then my rook swings and hits the bishop. So that's what I'm trying to find his counterpart to. Interesting. Yeah, that is sharp. Um, I understand that I'm trapping my rook. I think there's more important concerns on this board than the fate of my rook. So. We'll see how this plays out. My rook isn't even completely trapped, but it just feels that way. 
Uh, so, where's my silver go? Does my silver go? I don't know. Stuff's going on. Well, this is not a one-sided game. We both get to take turns to attack, and I think it's my turn. I mean, yes, it's very unusual for me to attack on my king's side of the board, but I don't really know what to do about that other than just take what I'm afforded here. Oh shit, well that's kind of a problem. Um, What do we do now? Like, so I was considering the silver drop here, silver attack there. Um, my attacks are pretty slow. What do we do? Yeah, this is not great. This is less than ideal. Well, I think the age-old proverb is finish what you started. So I started this fight. I gotta see it through. That doesn't feel right at all. Yuck. I honestly didn't expect that. Oh, that's clever. Okay, we're going to fight back. I don't know how sound this is. And it feels very unsound, but... Um, Got to fight somewhere. So the point is that if I can get the bishop to move, I promote. And I get attacks against his castle. I don't think I'm going to manage to get the bishop to move away. Uh, this is strange. Not sure what his plan is here. Maybe to get my me to commit my remaining general. Maybe that's the idea. Um... Hmm. 
40秒。I admit I'm confused. I think this works as well as anything could possibly work here. Yes, I would like to have the silver in hand. No, I'm not going to find a better square for this silver. So let's put it down on the board. Um, all right, that's not check because shogi pieces are different than chess pieces. Um. Even so, like, that's a pretty strong threat. Uh, yay, yay. That's a very strong threat. Well, what do we do? We have to protect this silver so the other one can move. So yeah, my idea of attacking the castle from the front seems not to be working. So we're going to atta uh, try to attack it from the side. The one thing that is in my favor here is that this rook is not promoted and does not really have a good way to promote. I have not yet given him a path directly into my castle. Um. Granted, he can start taking my pieces in the corner, but yeah, what can I do? This pawn up here is actually decent. Yeah, attacking the head of this castle is not going to go well. Um, if I have a spare tempo, maybe I move the knight away, so like that's one fewer knight he can use to attack me, but don't think I'm going to get that chance. Um... So I'm trying to figure out how do I effectively use my pieces while well, I still can't promote this just yet. Uh, when I'm looking at I really want to take the bishop and then promote the rook right there. I just sense he's going to come up with something, like putting a general here. I don't know. I don't know that that actually stops my attack, but it might postpone it a bit. Oh yeah, putting a general there. Um, if I take this, bishop takes, that's not a fork. That's not how forks work. If I take the bishop, knight takes, silver takes, that's a fork. That is definitely a fork if I do it that way. Um, I mean, lots of pieces get exchanged if I do that, but I'm kind of going to need a lot of pieces if I want to checkmate this king. It's a lot to evaluate. It's a lot to evaluate. But my rook was doing nothing, and now it's in a better place. Not really, but let's pretend. Let's have a very good imagination. That's not a fork if I promote the piece. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, eh, whatever. It's a decent piece here. I forgot, when you promote the piece, it doesn't attack this way anymore. It's okay, this gold is too heavy here. It, this gold does not belong where it's at. We're just going to pretend that this gold's not even on the board. Didn't want it anyway. We want the rook. Um, that said, if we wanted the rook, taking here first with the silver is the way to do it. So, maybe we didn't want the rook? 
what am I doing? Well, I could put a bishop in the center of the board. It looks kind of pretty and strikes every direction. Bishop's kind of a nice piece to attack with. Um, wish I had a better place to put it. Yeah, my king is in so much trouble. I've got a knight, and I don't know how to use it. I've got a bishop, and it doesn't work well against this castle. What else have I got? I've got a token. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's, it's gradually working its way toward the king. Just be patient. But yeah, it looks to me like putting a bishop down at some point is going to be my best play. I wonder if he's considering placing his rook, or if he's considering just taking the silver. All right, well, that's another piece for me. Can't exactly decline that offer, because I need a rook to smash the castle. Without a rook, this is going nowhere. And the rook was threatening to take this pawn. Um, so I'm making excuses for my rapid um, response, but eh, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I see kind of what he's threatening. I don't see all of it. I see enough to be scared. That's not what I saw. I don't understand that move. Hmm. Oh, okay. I see a point of that move now. Hmm. Yeah, that's problematic. This is not ideal. So I briefly considered quite a few different moves that would allow mate in one, and then resolved on taking the pawn to break the mate in one. There's not just a rook drop there, but one here as well. Um, so. Yep. No mate in one today. Um. Man, this sucks. Um... Yeah, I could not find any other way to try to escape this attack, so... Okay. We'll buckle in. It's not going to be a pleasant journey. 
Oh, what is this? How could this be more effective than your last move? Um, I keep my question. I don't understand how this is effective. We're going to learn something today. I mean, yes, I would love to put my Rook on his back rank, uh, being that his name is back rank and all, but and being that that is where the weakness of his castle resides. But um, no, this Rook needs to be used to defend the entire second rank in front of my king. Um, even if this eventually costs me the Rook, it has to be placed here. I can't allow myself to get checkmated. So, yeah. Um, that's the idea here. The fact that it's on the same file as the king, to me, looks like a bluff. I don't see how to, like, use this effectively. Um, maybe I push the pawn here and then put a knight there and try to break the castle this way. But, yeah, I'm not seeing it. Also, like, my big idea, again, is just I want to put my bishop down. Uh, cover as many squares as I can. Um, this does threaten to hit my rook next, doesn't it? We're gonna stick to the plan. Not saying it's a good plan, but um, I think, again, like if I give up the rook, that's not the worst fate in the world. Yeah, what sucks here is that he's got quite a few effective attacking moves. Um, actually, I could pawn drop right there, couldn't I? Ah, it looks so scary. Um, if I do this pawn drop, then 
Do I get mated? I'm looking. It sure looks like I get mated. I'm not seeing the final mate position. Oh, I see it. Never mind. All right, whatever. I don't have a lot of options here. This is so sad. This is such a sad castle. But yeah, this threat to like, oh, yeah, okay, that's a problem too. Um, probably don't want to give away this bishop, do I? Okay, but if I don't give that up, like, then he's got this knight fork. Um... Yolo. YOLO mode activated with, like, nothing in hand. We're going to attack. Um, I can't imagine this going well, but it's better than the alternative. It's so hard to avoid doing giving Nifu this game. Um, well spotted. Well spotted. All right. Uh, I think I'm out of ideas. Mm -hmm. 
Or rather, all my remaining ideas are just too miserable to play. So, yeah, well played. Good game. Alright, that was exciting. Uh, let's see. Uh, where do I go? Oh, here's the standard board size. Uh, uh, sorry, I missed uh, your Discord message. Uh, thanks for the exciting game. Well, well, this is playable, but I have only pawns remaining in hand. <laughs> uh, this this is playable. Like I did see, yeah, I could do this, but it just felt really miserable. And I'm like, you know, at this point, I could grovel on a bit. But, um, I just didn't see how to, yeah. Yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do at this point. Um, I mean, yeah, almost certainly I made it in some curious fashion, but, um, but yeah, when I sacked the bishop, it's not because I saw a way to win the game, it's because I thought I was in deep doo-doo. And unfortunately my move didn't improve things. Um, oh, sorry, I should give over the hat here. Um, oh! Ah, that makes more sense. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't find a good shape for my king, um, but this definitely is better. Yeah, this way I'm not conceding an entire move um, or a piece. Uh, yeah, possibly I misread some stuff here too. I don't know. This thing. And then I guess I'm supposed to take here. Yeah, and I'm not sure where we end up next. Uh, don't really see how to continue here, but I feel like this offers way more chances than the game actually did. Uh, even though, like, my position is kind of miserable. Um, maybe I take here. Maybe I actually do manage to mate faster if I just fully commit to this. This wasn't even the variation I was looking at during the game, but... Um, yeah, so he's got three silvers in hand. Um, So this threatens a bishop drop, it also threatens rook takes gold with promotion. Um, I mean, this will show me for freestyling my castle, just improvising it, but... Um, uh, oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, this way he does find time to... Well, can I be crazy and take this? It is legal to capture. Um, I wonder just how crazy this is.
Well, he's always got a silver drop on 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. Caps lock is right next to all the other letters. Um, um, so yeah, if I had done silver takes, we might have had a different game there. It's hard to read stuff in time pressure, but you want to play more solid moves so you don't regularly get into time pressure. Ah, yeah. He keeps uh, coming up with this tactic over and over. Yeah. What did I do? Um, I pawn takes. Three, yeah, that's weird. Pawn drop three six is what I did. Um, that's yeah. My bishop cannot move and give a check, so the silver is super prone. Um. Felt like I missed something. I'm just not sure what. But yeah, at this point it's kind of spiraled out of control. Mm. I was thinking about that, but uh glad to activate uh, my thesis. Uh, um, yeah. I think uh, what you did in, in the game was uh, less risky. But, um, well, is it so crazy for me to take the bishop? I wonder. It looks kind of crazy. Hmm. I could always take it next turn. Yeah, he's right. They actually, uh, this would force him to defend, and if he wanted to force me to exchange rook for bishop, he have to put his piece down far away from my king. Uh, yeah, if I start getting pieces in hand, his castle gets shaky. So the way he did the attack in the game was uh, probably the most accurate way to do it. Uh, yeah, there's uh, probably a lot of things I missed here. Uh, well, this, yeah, this is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, if he can drive back my king, it becomes more vulnerable, so moves like this make sense. Um, It's actually really hard for me to advance at all here. Well, yeah, you can't have everything. Uh... Uh, good luck uh, with the rest of the tournament. Sorry, I can't type faster. Um, yeah. 
All right. Well, okay. So that was uh, the Shogi Hall Championship. We're in the knockout phase. This is a single elimination, so I am out. Um, but yeah, we had quite an exciting game here. Um, so yeah, this I Furubisha where we both attack on opposite sides is always complicated. He spent two moves uh, putting his rook exactly where he wanted it. I spent two moves putting my rook exactly where I wanted it. But maybe my rook move was mistimed. Like, maybe I could have kept this here a bit longer and come up with some other way to attack this castle. I did debate during the game bringing up the knight, pushing this pawn. There's a lot of possibilities. Um, the one thing I like about this uh, double swinging rook, this Ifrusha, is that um, it allows you to be creative. You have to be creative. And if you don't, you lose. And it's okay. You're not going to win every game. Um, but uh, yeah, this seems a bit more beginner friendly to me than um, something where I have to try to play by a playbook and I don't know the contents of the playbook. Um, so yeah, I am gradually learning other openings, but this is what I'm sticking with for quite a few games. Um, yeah, I still think this is maybe my best way to play the position. Uh, my pawn drop there seems suspect. So I suspect that there's some way I could have made this function far better than it did in the game. Not exactly sure what that is, because uh, this threat is always looming. Um, so I have to be really careful here. But, um, I mean, there's this threat, there's this threat. It's really difficult to deal with these threats. But um, on the other hand, I have some attacking ideas too. So we can't completely negate those. Uh, yeah, I guess before he takes here, uh, what was I going to say? I can't drop a pawn, but now, after I take this pawn, um, now I'm threatening to drop and fork. So this, in theory, should give me a turn, a tempo somewhere that I can somehow uh, attack. Um, so this might be possible. Um, yeah, honestly, this has been guided just by playing against uh, folks who've been playing in the teaching ladder. Uh, so, yeah, when I've had opportunities to play against uh, Destiny and Fryzeit and so many other strong players who are willing to give lessons after the game, um, this is where we've gotten our ideas from. I probably should study well, also that and watching Shogi Harbor's uh, live stream. Uh, it's been instructive, but this is not the same thing as actual opening study. So, yeah, the fact that I can come up with some ideas yeah, shows some creativity. Um, but I don't know, I can recommend that everybody do what I do. So what had me concerned about this, I guess, is if he sacks the rook, if I have to take, like, I couldn't evaluate this. But here he's out of pawns, and this seems okay for me, I think. So I don't think he can give up the rook, but um, then there's this fork. So because of that, the rook has to move somewhere else, so the fork doesn't happen. Um, well, I guess I do have two silvers just hanging here. So he's right after all. That like Even if somehow this ends up being okay and I'm just giving up a silver for some modest initiative that won't last. Um, 
yeah, I need to be more careful. So this was the move that got me a worse position. Um, actually, this is pretty decent. Um, well, it doesn't do anything. I was thinking that it allowed me to put a pawn here, but it does not, because that's how the game rules work. Uh, but what had me concerned about this was that this is coming. Um, not right now, but after he takes a turn, like, now this threat is so large. And this threat is large, and he's got other things he could threaten, so... Actually, my king's on the fourth file here. It's a bit different. I thought my king was on the third file, but still... Um, if this bishop moves, I'm still in trouble. Which means I probably need to back up a bit more. Um, so, I don't know. Potentially this bishop needs to go somewhere else. Like, I don't know if this is even playable. But it does not look very playable to me. Um, Okay, so how do I counter this? His attack is very fast, and I just couldn't find an attacking idea. Other games I've played stuff like this, and it hasn't worked so well. But maybe this is the sort of thing I need to try. Um, oh yeah, no, the game has concluded. Uh, his name's in bright yellow here. He's won the game. Um, so yeah, I'm just analyzing at this point. Um, not really sure where my creative idea needs to come from here. I've spent two moves shifting the rook over here. Uh, my castle is pretty suspect. Um, but I'm sure there's some way that I can make something in this position. I just didn't see how to do it. It was a fun game, though. Um, yeah, possibly if I do more opening study, I might get uh, safer positions. But in the meantime, we're just going to get very lopsided games. Where we win some, we lose some, and it's just going to be very hit or miss until um, I study more. Although really what I'm working on now is end games, um, just the checkmating ideas. And yeah, that'll help even in, well, it helps the most in close games. Um, but yeah, what was it? There was some big checkmating idea here that surprised me. So yeah, when I put the rook down, I thought it would be okay for a while. Um, that didn't work at all. Um, so yeah, there is no securing my king at this point. Despite the fact that he has only a rook and a silver in hand. And therefore you'd think it would be kind of hard for him to just find an attack. Um, there's really no way I can wolf prevent him from dropping either of the pieces here. Um, while also trying to keep this gold at bay. Because, uh, yeah, this gold is just undefended. My castle's just far too loose at this point. Which in turn means that the rook drop back here doesn't work at all. Um, but other drops are no better. And for this rook drop to be so effective, uh, well, it is because he's got rook drops threatened on both of these squares. And I saw, like, I could try a bishop drop to try to keep these pieces away. Maybe this would have held out a bit longer. Um, but probably I need to go back a bit more. This rook sack was just very effective. Um, which I think means we have to keep going back until we see something like this. And this is what we were just analyzing. Um, so, yeah, if he gives me the rook, it's definitely a different ball game. Um, yeah, I don't know. Could have been interesting. Definitely was a sharp and an exciting game. Uh, so 
thanks to those folks for organizing the tournament, the Shogi Hall, um, and thanks to my opponent for one of the sharper games that I've had in recent weeks. Um, it'll give me much to think about. <laughs>